In summertime, when leaves grow green and birds sing on every tree, Robin Hood went to Nottingham as fast as he could flee. And as he came to Nottingham, a tinker came to meet him, and seeing him a lusty blade, he gave him kindly greeting. Where do you live? asked Robin Hood. I ask you now to tell. Sad news I hear there is abroad. I fear all is not well. What is that news? the tinker said. Tell me without delay. I am a tinker by my trade, and do live at Bamboray. As for the news, said Robin Hood, it is but as I hear. Two tinkers were set in the stocks for drinking ale and beer. If that be all, the tinker, he said, as I may say to you, your news it is not worth a fart, since that they all be true. For drinking of good ale and beer you will not lose your part. Now on my oath, said Robin Hood, I love it with all my heart. What news abroad, said Robin Hood, tell me what you hear. Seeing you go from town to town, some news you need not fear. All the news I have, the tinker said, I hear it is for good. It is to seek a bold outlaw, which they call Robin Hood. I have a warrant from the king to take him where I can. If you can tell me where he is, I will make you my man. The king would give a hundred pounds that he could but be seen. And if we can but get him now, it will serve both you and me. Let me see that warrant, said Robin Hood. I'll see if it be right. And I will do the best I can to take him in this night. That I will not, the tinker said. None with it I will trust. Where he is, if you'll not tell, take him by force I must. Robin Hood perceiving well how then the game would go. If you would go to Nottingham, we shall find him, I know. The tinker had a crab tree staff that was both good and strong. Robin, he had a good strong blade, so they both went along. And when they came to Nottingham, they both took to the inn. And there they called for ale and wine, to drink it was no sin. But ale and wine they drank so fast that the tinker, he forgot what thing he was about to do. It fell so to his lot. But while the tinker fell asleep, Robin made haste away, and left the tinker in the lurch for the great shot to pay. When the tinker wakened and saw that he was gone, he called then even for his host, and here he made his moan. I had a warrant from the king which might have done me good, that is to take the bold outlaw, some call him Robin Hood. But now my warrant and money's gone, nothing I have to pay. And he that promised to be my friend, he is gone and fled away. That friend you tell on, said the host, they call him Robin Hood. And when first he met with you, he meant you little good. Had I but known it had been he, when I had had him here, that one of us should have tried our might, should have cost him dear. In the meantime, I will away, no longer I'll stay here, but I will go and seek him out, whatever may occur. But one thing I would gladly know, what here I have to pay. Ten shillings just, then said the host, I'll pay without delay, or else take here my working bag and my good hammer too, and if I light but on the knave, I will then soon pay you. The only way, then said the host, is not to stand in fear, is to seek him among the woods, killing the king's deer. The tinker, he then went with speed, and made them no delay, till he had found bold Robin Hood, that they might have a fray. At last he spied him in the wood, hunting of the deer. What knave is that? said Robin Hood. It comes so near to me. No knave, no knave, the tinker said, and that you soon shall know. Which of us has done any wrong, my crab tree staff shall show. Then Robin drew his gallant blade, made then of trusty steel. But the tinker he laid on so fast that he made Robin reel. Then Robin's anger did arise, he fought right manfully until he made the tinker almost then fit to fly. With that they had about again, they plied their weapons fast. The tinker thrashed his bones so sore, he made him yield at last. A favour, a favour, Robin, he cries. If you'll grant it to me. Before I do that, the tinker said, I'll hang me on this tree. But as the tinker looked about, Robin gave his horn a blow. Then came to him Little John, and William Scadlock too. What is the matter, said Little John? You sit on the highway side. Here is a tinker that stands fast by, that has paid well my hide. That tinker then said Little John, with that blade I would see, and I would try what I could do, if he'll do as much for me. And Robin, he then wished them both, they should the quarrel cease, that henceforth we may be as one, and ever live in peace. And for the jovial tinker's part, a hundred pounds I'll give. 
in the year to maintain him on as long as he may live. In manhood he is a metalled man, and a metalled man by trade. Never thought I that any man should have made me so afraid. And if he will be one of us, we will take all one fare. Whatsoever we do get, he shall have his full share. So the tinker was content with them to go along, and with them a part to take. And so I end my song.